and does, it doesn't have to try too hard to have them uh, original because because of the nature of the wood they're going to be original anyway you know each each piece of wood is um, different this is sycamore this is sycamore but I use all the native timbers uh, there's some large pieces there done in rowan and uh, some of the more golden colored ones are in beech so at the moment beech sycamore rowan but I could be using ash elm anything at any particular time I don't draw them out where I work at them I prefer to let the the wood take its own form but of course I can draw and I often do draw them after they're after they're done you know just as an illustration to go along with the uh, sometimes to go along with the carving you know to this one for instance I had it sitting there in the oil you have uh, summer autumn winter spring starting off with Lou Lunasa that's here with us now and of course uh, in typical Irish fashion it's not summer autumn winter spring it's the it's the gaps between Lunas is the beginning of August. It's the beginning of uh, autumn, in a sense, you know. Uh, so Lou, and they all partake of the the character before and after them to a large extent, you know. So Lou is the the handsome young sun god, Agma, speech and wisdom, Dajimor, big daddy, and the Gabon for Baltana, all tied together with the the notorious spiral and this is Maka that I'm just working on now and she created Arma and Owen Maka with her brooch she inscribed the triple spiral and created everything with that breasts and womb Arma Owen Maka and she became in other words she was the creatrix the salmon of wisdom let's say appears in the source waters of each of the great lakes each of the great rivers and so on now just to confuse the tourists the Garavog, our local river has actually three sources one high up in the mountains the Loch Oye, the lake of the two geese one right beside the road Tubernalt, the well of the lunatics Maves well that's easily accessible and one deep uh, inland which is Glenade now Glenade is the actual if you like geological commonsensical source La <laughs> uh, Coye is the uh, mystical source and Maves well is the sacred source you know just to confuse you <laughs> this is the symbol of the woman uh, the breasts and the womb now all the wells are the waters of the woman no matter what you call this woman Bridget little fiery one Danu high glorious mother Maeve she who maddens here's the breasts and the womb the symbol of the woman St. Patrick tried to convince it was Father Son and Holy Ghost but we didn't swallow that for a minute <laughs> So, the breast in the womb, virgin mother and hag. Now, I just want to put the, the salmon on the back, the salmon of wisdom. This salmon of wisdom appears in the source waters of all of the great rivers. But of course, seeing that we have three source waters, we have lots of salmon. Uh, but this salmon though is not your common or garden everyday salmon, but a mystical salmon if you like or uh, the ultimate salmon or the, the the model for all salmon or whatever way you want to look at it. I'm only a woodcarver I don't know them sort of I wouldn't know the difference between a symbol and an image but if the salmon appears in the dark pool flashes to the surface of the dark pool and this pool of course in, a, in one sense is absolutely bottomless because it represents the unconscious the latent 
that which is not yet manifest, you know, or whatever way you want to put it, then something must have driven or powered the salmon to the surface to appear. And are you familiar with the yin and the yang? Yeah. Well, if you look at one half of the yin yang, you discover you're looking at a leaping salmon. So, oh, thanks very much. Thanks very much. Ah. Leaping salmon. You see? So, when you talk about the salmon of wisdom, you've only caught one half of the mystery, you know? So, in North Sligo and round about here, there's a beastie called the Dowerku. Now, this is the dark hound, or the hound from the depth. Dower is a word that you can't translate into English. It has a meaning of wet and dark, the abyss. So you have this abyss hound that lurks about in the dark pools. And uh, any good psychiatrist will tell you, and I've been told more than once, that the unconscious is known as the unconscious because it's unconscious, you see. So that's a hundred dollars worth of, of worldly wisdom for you. So that you can't become aware of the unconscious because it's unconscious. <laughs> but the unconscious must make itself manifest at some time. Uh, and the beast in the darkness powers the salmon to the surface. And the salmon is the manifestation of the unconscious, if you like. But then pigs can see the wind, <laughs> you know. So <laughs> poets and artists and anybody that wants to take that step can see the unconscious, can become aware of the, of the potential of the unconscious or whatever. Anyway, whatever you say about it sounds silly. So there's the Dower coup.